Morning, everybody. <laughs> I think I either need a haircut or I just start needed to make Johnny Bravo <laughs> comments. <laughs> oh my God, that's awesome. So we are getting uh, alerts on our little circuit analyzer, and this is probably why. It's full of water. <laughs> I was blowing Sky's dog hair out of here, and I just noticed that these things were getting smooshy, so I touched the top one, and these are like chemically dissolving. They're just turning into like gum. No idea what that is, but I'm gonna tear those out. It's happening on both sides. It's like, I no idea what that's from. Hit it with a little acetone and see if that gets it out of there. All right, let's get this off my hands and then we're gonna glove up and finish the rest of this. So if anybody has any idea what would cause that, I mean, I haven't put any armor all or any kind of like chemical on here. So this is just, and it wasn't like this last year. I took that out to check the bolts on the steering about maybe three years ago. So not really sure what would cause those things to melt like that in the next, you know, just in a few years. Whee! Fun dryer. <laughs> oh, so close. Dang it. You freaking turd salad, get in there. Uh, put the phone down for a second. Hit them hard enough with a hammer and they go on. Ow. Yeah. Play a glove. Number 792 for today's glitch list. All three bolts came undone on the striker for the door while it was closed. Uh, so we couldn't get it open. So I had to use a Allen key to open the door. That took me uh, so far three hours to get this far. Now I'm taking the door panel off and I got to get the striker back up there and the latch mechanism from the door handle that has fallen off on the bottom. Fun times. Okay, I got the door panel off. Now we just got to get this kludgy striker unwound and this door latch back on wherever that goes. So this ought to be fun. Stand by. And the door latch saga continues. So I did manage to get the door latch open. This spring popped off and the latch for the door handle itself came off. So uh, yeah, unfortunately the little plastic clippy do is missing. So I don't know how much you want to watch me argue with this stupid machine. So, there we go. Oh, well, follow me. What do you mean? It's a group. It's solid. Uh, now I gotta edit this thing again. Hang on. Okay, I cut out all the boring stuff, so now I've got this thing ready to go in SketchUp. So, we're gonna export it. Let's go ahead and save it. Yes, purge all. Save it to my pile of projects and I will upload this to Thingiverse and to my website. So I'll put a link to both of those links down below. And now we export that to Prusa and export the G code to our thumb drive. All right, let's go print this thing.
And now we get to see if our uh, 3D printing is good enough to make a part. So let's see if the bracket is actually going to work, but man, that thing looks a little too big for what it is supposed to be printing. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, let's try this. Pink. Uh, oh, it's made a solid bottom. Ah, the brimming is stuck. Boy, I don't know. Let's get this thing in the light. Come on, macro. Is that it? It's done printing? Yeah. Oh, wow. Wow, focus. That's what she said. Why is it not, no focusing? Well, I don't think so. That might not work. Are you recording your work? Yes. Okay, now that it's quit raining for long enough, I'm gonna try jamming our little doodad in here. And a way to, gotta get to, to a point that you guys can still see what's going on. And then I can see what's going on as well. Come on, get on there. Oh, I just busted the end off. Dang it! Print another one. Ooh, 3D printing. Wow. It's almost like watching paint dry, except faster. So we got four minutes left. Okay, after probably about seven iterations, we just went back to the original. So it's working. I'm just gonna leave it alone. Holds it in there, but uh, I think we need to come out an eighth of an inch and make a larger diameter head and then put some relief slots in there to make it so it's a little bit tighter. It is a bear to get on that rod though, so I think it's tight enough. Um, we'll probably want to print this out of something other than PLA, but uh, for now, I'll uh, print another one with an extended nub on the end of it, and then that'll at least get us through this week. And then we'll print it out of ABS or something once I can get us get some ABS or maybe something a little bit stronger. Anyway, um, I'll put this, uh, once I'm done with the 3D print, I will put it up on Thingiverse and put a link down in the description down below to download it and be, you guys can print your own. Okay, I'm not 100% sure I actually walked through what actually happened. So while the door was closed, the these three screws backed themselves out and this thing became loose. Got jammed up against that. As I was take, trying to take the, well, you can't take the door card off with the door closed. So trying to get through the little slit that was right here, um, I ended up bending up the mechanism. So <laughs> finally got the mechanism all taken out. And as I was taking it out, um, one of the springs, the way, the way that I bent it up is one of the springs, as I was unlatching it, one of the springs popped off and allowed the, the plunger piece to fall down in the way of the rod that actuates this thing. So when I screwed this back in, the rod bent crap out of this. So I had to pull this out, close it all together, put the spring back on, which I found in the bottom of the door, um, and then put it all back together. As I was putting it all back together, one of the clips for the retaining rod for the lock mechanism broke. So I've been 3D printing and farting around with that thing. So what a pain in the butt. So that's been a better part of a day, you know, in between rainstorms. So anyways, we're gonna get the door button back up and get this thing taken care of. I gotta say, this thing takes up a lot of room, but uh, it is well worth it. <laughs> I would be screwed without that part. Okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video right here because it's getting a little long. Why don't you come back next time when we uh, now chase down some electrical gremlins in the cab. That ought to be fun. Anyways, I want to thank you all for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. What the fuck am I bleeding from? <laughs>